Yes friends, now we are going to look the human digestive system with help of the chart. So before of that is the digestive system. What is the meaning of digestive system? How it will be helped to us? What is going on in that? What are the internal parts are there? We are all going to look uh, as a help with chart. So once we are going to look first as a human digestive system is also known as commonly it will be called as alimentary canal. So it started with mouth and end with anus. This all is a like is a tube like structures whatever the parts are present is called as alimentary canal. So first we are going to with start mouth. So commonly the mouth the digestion is started with mouth only. So first what which the different type of food components we will take. From that is a carbohydrates and uh, hydrates digestion is started in the mouth and commonly it will be going on up to anus. So here first the mouth commonly is the mouth salivary glands are present so those are help for the digestion of carbohydrates then it will be passed mouth and mouth to oral cavity the space which is present in the mouth is called as oral cavity then it will be passed to food pipe is also known as esophagus like is a tube like structures from oral cavity to up to stomach it will be connect one is a tube like structure is called as esophagus so also known as food pipe so this esophagus or food pipe is helps to the movement, movement of food components or food items from oral cavity to stomach. So next one here it will be going on the movement is called as peristaltic movement. Automatically with the help of the mucus it will be move the food components from oral cavity to stomach. Not only is here the special part is called as the pharynx. Pharynx commonly it will be called as a junction in between the two uh, tracts. One is a digestive tract, how is like is there and one more is there the respiratory tract. So two systems is connected by the pharynx. So this is called as a junction. So when we are going to take the food, commonly the pharynx it will be sending to into food pipe. When we are going to take air through the nose and nostril cavities, the pharynx will allow to respiratory tract. So both systems are connected by the pharynx. So when the food is entered into the stomach, it will be again the process going on as a digestion. So here, yes, this is called as the largest part in the elementary canal is called as stomach. So commonly the right side, right side of the stomach, the liver is present, the left side of the stomach, pancreas is present. Yes, how like the both are help in the process of digestion? Means the liver, it will be helped. It will be released the bile juice and bile viridin, bile rubin is a help for the digestion of the fats in the stomach. And next one, yes, what is the function of pancreas? Pancreas also helps to digestion of the like is carbohydrates. It will be released the, uh, from the pancreas, the hormone is insulin. So insulin help commonly for the controlling of the glucose percentage in the blood. So both are liver and pancreas both are present in the sides of the stomach both are helps in the digestion process with their enzymes or hormones next one more is a organ or internal part of the in the elementary canal is this is called as that commonly is a large intestine in that large intestine is commonly is a surrounded as a mid is present as a small intestine commonly is a very very important part is a small intestine so here absorption when we would take the food is called as injection like we are taking when we are going to digestion commonly the energy will release and is the undigested part it will be sending the move forward and then here the internal part as maybe the small intestine help for the absorption with the help of villi so here so many millions of villi are present in the small intestine it will be absorbed like means taking taking of nutrition from the blood with the help of villi, those are present in the small intestine. Then remaining, remaining digestions also it will be continued. Like not up to here, I think is a 90% of digestion, it will be end with small intestine only. Why? Because already started with mouth, it will be continue in the stomach and up to still is a small intestine. Only the large intestine like this, this is the large intestine, it will be take only the excess of water, it will be present in the like uh, some digested food or is awfully digested food the water it will be absorbed by the large intestine so here then remaining unwanted like it will be called as a chyme that it will be sending out with rectum and anus 
before the anus rectum it will be rectum and anus both are held for the undigested food sending out from the alimentary canal so mouth to, to anus this is the alimentary canal it, it help for the digestion of carbohydrates and fats and proteins so different parts it will be help for the different releasing of hormones and enzymes uh, like it will be help as a digestion process so friends we are is like no one idea about the digestive system thank you